Hello there guys, my name is Kaz Shadlogs the Bomb, but both for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update. This is rather a discussion video rather than an actual piece of news, but Theme Park Newsroom is all about delivering the latest rumours, speculation, confirmed news, all but confirmed news, and also discussions as well. And this is something I want to discuss about, and that is the site of Avalanche at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now, this is a bobsled roller coaster, and I thought today I thought I'd take the opportunity to look at Avalanche, look at the site, and think, well, what could replace Avalanche in the future? Because, you know, Avalanche is one of those older coasters that maybe isn't too far away from its end of its time. Now, there are other attractions that will pave the way before Avalanche, don't get me wrong. Uh, but this is just sort of like a long-term discussion video, like what kind of coasters could you see replace Avalanche in the future? Uh, so before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you uh, subscribe as well. Click the case bell, see never miss a YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and we're halfway to 1 million views as well, which is unbelievable. So please, please go and do that. Uh, make sure you also submit your video ideas using the forms link in the description down below. You can also vote for me in the Clamshell Awards. If you're watching this in the future and the vote isn't open, maybe I won an award by now. Uh, but obviously if you're watching this while the vote is still open, you can still vote for me. Link should be in the description down below until the vote closes um, and we'll see what happens. But please go and vote for me if you haven't already and if the vote's still open. Thank you very much guys, and for now, let's have a look at Avalanche. So before we look at predictions and a couple of coaster suggestions of what I could see in the site, let's have a look at the coaster's facts and stats by itself. So Avalanche opened on the 22nd of June 1988. It is a Mack custom bobsled coaster with a length of 1,490 feet of track and a duration of 1 minute 22 seconds. So this has been around for a very, very, very long time. Uh, so think about it, 2023, that'll be the next sort of major anniversary of this coaster. Um, and you know, that is the, the 35th anniversary of Avalanche, which is a long, long time. And then obviously 2028 will make it 40 years of Avalanche, uh, which is a long time for a roller coaster. Uh, now, for those of you who need a little bit of history on this ride, it was the first bobsled type coaster to be constructed in the U UK. It was the third bobsled coaster built by Mack Rides in competition with Intamin. It was opened by Eagle, Eddie the Eagle Edwards, known as the Eagle. So, uh, that was very interesting. Of course, themed around an alpine bobsled track. Um, and, you know, overall, this is a very, very smooth, wintry ride. So let's have a look at my thoughts on what kind of coasters I could see in this particular site. Now, if you look at what I've circled there, you can see I've also circled the Grand Prix. Uh, I think that ride will go. I think the Thompson's uh, uh, car Carousel, Vintage Carousel, that will get relocated to somewhere else in the park. Uh, and, you know, obviously I think we're going to see the removal of the Grand Prix along with the Avalanche. Uh, now, obviously the Big Pizza Kitchen... Avalanche, well, the Big Pizza Kitchen takeaway will obviously, you know, ne near Avalanche will um, be renamed, obviously. It won't get removed, it'll be renamed. Um, but if you look there at that site where you take Avalanche and the Grand Prix into effect, um, you can see it's a massive, massive site, and you can see there's a lot of room of potential development. Now, in my personal opinion, I think there's three different types of coasters, and I think it's three coasters that I could see Blackpool Pleasure Beach adding at some point. A Mac Big Dipper, an RMC Single Rail, and a Mac Extreme Spinning Roller Coaster. Now, let's start off with the RMC Single Rail options. So the RMC Single Rail, for those of you who have no idea about what it is, basically uh, it is the single rail roller coaster known as the Raptor. Uh, the Raptor Track, shall we say, uh, by Rocky Mountain Construction. There's four currently in existence, uh, officially according to the Roller Coaster Database. Jersey Devil, Rail Blazer, Wonder Woman, Golden Lasso Coaster, and under construction as well as Jersey Devil is Stunt Pilot at Silverwood. There's rumours still of one being announced for Kentucky Kingdom for 2021, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but there's definitely going to be more where that came from. Uh, now, of course, one big thing to note about the Raptors is that they are compact thrill roller coasters with a very low capacity. 
and that is because of the train design. Now, I reckon if they did the two people per train type design for this Raptor Coaster, I reckon you've got a decent layout in your hands. Now, there is a bonus option that will go along with the single rail Raptor track, and that is, of course, the Intamin Hot Racer, where you get the UK's first, uh, or Europe's first, launched single rail roller coaster. Uh, now, of course, they are building one of these in Luna Park, Sydney, Australia uh, for 2021. We did a report on that, and you can check out those videos that we only learned a few days ago. But I think the Intamin Hot Racer, again, is another concept I could see being added. You could even, if you wanted to, do a dueling version if you wanted to sort of make it that big of a site. And I reckon you could go for the, the dueling single rail launch, the Hot Racer dueling launch coaster by Intamin. Uh, so they could go for the Intamin version or the RMC version. Now, the next concept going into this now is the um, Mac Big Dipper. So we're looking at something like Lost Gravity at Wallaby Holland. Or if you want more examples, uh, there is another one called Dynamite at Frysic Park Palome, which is the more recent example. So these ones don't take up a lot of room. They are custom layouts. And uh, again, well, again with this one, I think we're going to see another custom layout if they were going to go with this particular type of coaster. Um, and, you know, I think overall we're looking here at um, a one-of-a-kind coaster. I think a Map Big Dipper, many people have said it's been rumoured for quite a while that we're going to see a Map Big Dipper coaster come into the park. And, you know, it's been rumoured for a couple of years now, and I'd like to see a Big Dipper come to the park, whether it's in this particular site or the Infusion site or wherever. So, it is going to be interesting to see what's going to happen here uh, with a map Big Dipper at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But, I would like to see that coaster somewhere in the park. If not the Avalanche site, somewhere else in the park. I mean, imagine a map Big Dipper over the Infusion site over some water. That would be a really cool coaster. Uh, but, I, th I think with the removal of Infusion, it sort of leaves a gap in their lineup in terms of they'll have no suspended or inverted coasters. So, I think a bonus option for the Avalanche site, uh, if they do remove Infusion for a map Big Dipper, I think you go for the suspended thrill coaster by Vacoma. I think you go for something what, like what Tripstrill's done with Hell's Uber Kopf. Um, and, you know, I think a park in China's planning to add one of these as well. And I know Tato Park's planning to add one of these for 2023 now as well. So, um, I reckon you go for the suspended thrill coaster. If you could do the sort of dueling package, like what Tripstrill's done, like what Tato Park is doing. If you go for the Family Boomerang and the Suspender Thrill Coaster and put both in the Avalanche and Grand Prix site, again, that could work. Now, the other example, the final example, so the Suspender Thrill Coaster, Family Boomerang package, and the Intamin Hot Racer are bonus two options to make it a top five. The RMC Single Run and the Map Big Dipper are two options. But the fifth overall option and the third top option is the Mac Extreme Spinning Roller Coaster. Now, I think it's clear to say it will not be long, uh, longer, taller, or faster, or more inverting even maybe, than Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City or the Time Traveler codenamed project at Plop Time Japan for next year. I think it will be less taller, less longer, less faster, maybe more inversions than the Silver Dollar City one, and maybe... Um, more inversions than the Pot Sander Pound one, but probably not. I think we could. Ex I think if they were going to add one of these, I think it'd be the same level of inversions as Silver Dollar City's Time Traveller. However, I think that this could still fit the site. And of course, Blackpool Pleasure Beach do not have a spinning roller coaster. So again, this would fit the bill. And this would you know, fill a void in an extreme way. Get it? Um, this would be an extreme filler of a void left by Blackpool Pledge Beach, and that is a spinning roller coaster. And again, this is an option I would like to go with. So I think all five options, including the two bonus options, wouldn't be bad. So I think my five sort of predictions for this particular site, um, I think if you ditch the Big Dipper, because I think that's more suited to Infusion, unless you go for the tallest, longest, fastest, most inverting uh, Big Dipper type coaster in the world ever, um, then that is like sort of the ish option, but I think the other four options mainly the uh, the extreme spinning coaster, uh, the RMC single rail, the Intamin hot racer, um, and also the suspended thrill coaster slash family boomerang coaster package. I think are all decent predictions for replacement for both Grand Prix and mainly Avalanche.
So there we go, that is discussing the future of the site of Avalanche at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Again, some massive predictions going on inside of there. Um, but thank you very much, guys, for watching this particular video. I'm going to get off and watch the Carlisle Doncaster match second half. Thank you very much. My name is Coast Shell. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill day.